everyone, it's Dr. Pauline and Sophie from Arc of Life. Welcome to this episode of Dr. Pauline Says So. We are going to be talking today about a gutter garden. So if you don't have a lot of space to do a, gar a garden or a vegetable garden, herb garden, or you just want to kind of start off smaller before you commit to like the big space, um, this is a great way to do it. So what we did is um, a gutter garden. This is our uh, probably third year doing it. And so basically you're just using East Roth, um, and these are just cut into five foot sections. You can get these at your local Hort Harbor store. It has everything that you need. Um, eavesdrop and then you just mount it to your fence. Um, so it's a great way. What we're doing today is we're doing herbs, what we planted. Do you remember which ones we did? Tomatoes, basil, rosemary, parsley, Oregano. Yeah, so we got some herbs going, which are going to be great. We got some cherry tomatoes. So these are really neat too. So these are basically like hanging planters. Um, but a really inexpensive and kind of creative way to do it is to just use a painting bucket. Um, the white ones work better as far as not attracting more heat. Um, again, you can get these at their local hardware store. We've got our cherry tomatoes that are growing and they're going to grow down. Um, and then um, and hopefully it'll keep the squirrels away too from chopping on them so that we can enjoy them this summer for our salads. So if you have any questions, give us a shout at archivelife.ca. See you guys soon. Bye.